Love them or barely tolerate them. You have to admit, squirrels are fun. Their silly antics and determined creative methods in their quest for food make them backyard favorites. This is Floki, one of my wildlife rehabilitation animals, on his release day. Squirrels are fabulous climbers. Tree squirrels have the interesting ability to rotate their ankles 180 degrees, which allows them to turn their feet out, gripping the bark more efficiently. This makes it easy for them to go up the tree and come down head first. Hi, I'm Amy from Fox Run, and today we are talking about all things squirrely. Squirrels are very widespread throughout the world in a variety of habitats. They are rodents and related to chipmunks, groundhogs, and prairie dogs. Most squirrels live in trees, especially oak, hickory, and pine, because their nuts are a popular food source. However, squirrels also eat fruits, mushrooms, and insects. And of course, anyone who feeds the birds also feeds the squirrels. When you're done watching this video, watch my video on feeding wildlife in winter. In fall, it's fun to observe squirrels gathering nuts for winter storage. Squirrels cache their food. Some squirrels bury nuts in the ground for winter storage. Invariably, some of these go unfound and germinate the next spring. So we can call the squirrels the gardeners of the forest. Depending on the population density, squirrels may bury or cache food over several acres of territory. Squirrels possess a strong sense of smell, which helps them find their food under the snow. Sneaky squirrels have been observed pretending to place nuts in certain places in order to trick other squirrels who may be watching them. Squirrels do not hibernate and remain active during winter months. However, several species, including the common gray squirrel, do experience torpor. Torpor is a state of deep sleep and lowered metabolic rate. The squirrel's bushy tail has several functions. It helps them balance and acts as a parachute when they are leaping from tree to tree. They can also wrap their tail around their body while napping, just like a fuzzy blanket. Squirrels are born totally dependent on mom, as you can see from these two babies who I rehabilitated and released when they were old enough. They are born with no fur, blind, and deaf. They stay in the nest for the first six weeks of life. Baby squirrels are born in the early spring, and the second litter is often born in late summer. Baby squirrels sometimes fall out of the nest. Carefully place the baby in a box with a blanket they can burrow under. Place the box in a warm location and call a wildlife rehabilitator. They will be trained in knowing how to either get the baby reunited with mom or where to take them if they are injured and orphaned. Squirrels are inquisitive and are often willing to take food right out of your hand. However, please enjoy watching squirrels at a distance. Squirrels can bite and spread diseases to humans, and for that matter, they can pick up germs from us that make them sick. So for their safety, watch but don't touch. Squirrels have many enemies. Domestic and feral cats, as well as owls, foxes, and weasels are a few of their predators. I hope you found this video interesting. Please boop the like button and subscribe to my channel. Fox Run is a nonprofit with a mission of offering programs that help you connect with the environment around you. I make videos about wildlife, organic gardening, and fun environmental activities. Please leave me a comment below and tell me what you are interested in. Thanks and have a fabulous day.